Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a Google Sheet for your BioBottle lab data. So we started by going to our Google Drives. And the first step is going to be to click New, and you're going to go to New Sheet. Once you create a new sheet, you have to put in your data. And so I have put in the data really fast, and so I'm going to paste it in there. Um, one important thing to do in Google is it will save every two seconds as long as you have given it a name. So I'm going to click to the top here and I'm going to hit the name. So I'm going to call this my bio bottle uh, lab data. Okay, so now that I have all my lab data in, um, you don't have to put the dates that you did not take data because when you graph in Google, it'll automatically space out your points. Um, but if you're graphing by hand, you will need to put in the dates that you didn't take data. Okay, um, so let's say you took another data point at 914. You're going to put that in 2015. Um, and you're going to enter in your data for what it was, which was 30 for me. Uh, my water temp was 26. My dissolved oxygen was 2.6. Um, let's say you forgot or did not take pH. Do not put zero if you didn't take it. Okay, because zero, only put zero if you had a reading of zero. If you didn't take the data on that day, just leave it blank. And let's say you took nitrate and it was 14, um, but then you took ammonium and it actually was zero. The reading was zero. So that's when I would actually type in zero. Okay, important things with Google Sheets is you need to type in just numbers. You can't type in 21 degrees. Okay, because Google will read this as a word and not as a piece of data. So you have to type in just the numbers. To put in your units, you're going to type up here on your column heading, and you are going to type degrees Celsius up there. Um, pH does not have units. The nitrate is measured in um, grams per liter, and the oxygen is also measured in grams per liter liter and the ammonium is measured in grams per liter okay um, so now I have all my data in my sheet and I'm ready to make a graph please see the next video to make a graph